In this video, we will install Lightspeed web server on a cPanel server. First of all, you need to disable Apache Mod Druid 2 if it is already installed. So let us check if Mod Druid is installed. For that, search for EC Apache. Click on EC Apache. Then click on Customize. Click on Apache Module. Search for Mod Druid. This is not enabled on this server, so we don't have to do anything. If it is enabled, you need to click on this toggle to disable it. Uh, once disabled, you need to click the next until it finished. Next, we need to run this command. For this, we need to log into the server with the terminal. You can connect to the server using terminal. Click on terminal. Here, you can paste the command, but this is a small screen, so I prefer working with the system terminal. Let us connect to the server. For that, we need to type ssh root at the right server host name or IP address here and then press enter it will ask for password in my case I have my SSH key added in this server so it won't ask me any password so we are logged into the server next we need to run the installation command this is the command if you have a paid lines you can use that in this format I will use trial press enter so you need to press Y for yes the default value in this case it is asking to enable PHP SUAXE one is on two is user home directory the default we will go with the default value of two it is asking the port offset the default value is thousand we will go with that admin username then it is asking for admin email address you can enter your email address here easy Apache integration we need that default value is one switch to light speed web server the default value is disabled zero uh, deploy lscwp automatically this is the cache default value is zero we will that means ls cache won't be automatically deployed we can deploy this as secured in later in whm so the installation started now the installation is completed it gave us the administrator port 7080 this port we need to open in firewall and we have a password for the web admin now if you look in whm you will see light speed under the plugin menu click on plugins here we have light speed web server on this page we have light speed there's some uh, two warnings one is light speed is not running and next there is some warning related to cache management it is asking for us to scan for wordpress installation and install light speed cache the license status is 15 days trial license if you have a paid license you can change the license here you can click on agree then enter the license key here then click on the switch there is an option for installing cpanel plugin click on install this will give the user of cPanel the option to flush the cache enable disable support light speed cache plugins so let us install it click on the install light speed cPanel plugin installed successfully so click on ok now let us see which web server we are using for that run the command net chat minus lntp grep 80 now the port 80 is served by apache web server to switch to light speed click on switch to light speed button click on switch to light speed click on ok now we have light speed is running we have light speed running on port 80 this is the light speed web cache manager plugin inside cpanel you have option to flush all cache light speed cache management you can enable wordpress cache you have the option to scan for all wordpress installation here we have one installation we can click on this and click on the enable this is done on cpanel side you can do this in whm also go to plugins then go to light speed web server then you can manage cache installations click on cache root setup click on the set missing cache root click on back now click on manage cache installations you can scan for all wordpress installation on this server and enable ls cache this will take time light speed plugin have found following websites with the wordpress installed uh, you can enable the cache from here click on the website then click enable that will enable the light speed cache for that WordPress website now this site have cache status enabled we will enable cache for this website for that click click on these checkboxes then click on enable this will enable ls cache for all these wordpress installations there is six error messages we have to log into the wordpress admin area for further instruction for these websites this website with the green icon light speed cache is enabled 